guys i'm coming to you with a very dry face and my lips is moisturized okay so i have been washing my hair every two weeks one for low manipulation in my hair i'm gonna say it in like every hair video i'm on the hairlicious castor oil challenge so I don't usually need to wash my hair that much because the castor oil um, has like clarifying properties and I use tea tree oil and peppermint oil mixed in with the Jamaican black castor oil. If you didn't watch my um, video of me making my oil, I'll link it down below. Um, so yeah, I don't have to wash my hair that often because even though the castor oil gives me like itchy scalp it's less now than it was when I first started the challenge I really don't have to wash my hair because I don't have flakes or any like anything like that but when I was younger I had really bad, bad dandruff like I had like psoriasis type flakes in my scalp like it was really bad like my scalp would pus it would bleed I couldn't get like styles that were too tight and things like that so um yeah I'm glad I grew out of that and plus I guess taking care of my hair as an adult also helped but I pretty much uh two strand twisted my hair like a flat twist three on each side and I've just been oiling my scalp like that I think I moisturized and sealed twice in the past two weeks. Girl, it's laziness. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys pretty much how these flat twists can become a beautiful twist out. Because I am going to wash my hair tomorrow night. But I'm going somewhere tomorrow. So I'm just going to prep for that. Um, my hair is nice and moisturized. I told you guys in my braid out in chat video that I really do not need to apply oil to my hands when I do the takedown because look see my fingers it is oil locked in here look at the shine my hair has never been this shiny so I pretty much just took all three of my two strand twists and I braided them together in one so that it was just easier for me to sleep and then i used two pins that you saw me take down to just pin into the back so that this wasn't like swinging in my face because my face is breaking out <laughs> look at that and i don't know what is going on like my face is really breaking out and I don't know whether it's one of the oils that I'm using in my hair. Like, I changed my pillowcases because I'm like, is it this? I washed my um, headscarves and bonnets because I'm like, is it this? Like, I don't know what's breaking my face out. But... Yeah, that's what is going on with that. Um, I don't do these um flat twist thingy thingies um often because I just feel like going through my hair and twisting rather than doing the loose twist is just too much for me. I'm a lazy natural when it comes to stuff like that. Like I've always wanted to try like the whole rice water thing and I wanted to try that and I was just like I would want to eat the rice. I don't think I would want to waste it and a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, you know, you don't waste the rice. You can actually still use it." And I was just like, "Um, oh. But you don't put all the nutrients from the rice in your hair, ma'am. What am I eating the rice for now, ma'am? Is it still going to make me full? What's, you know. 
so I'm confused. <laughs> Like, I want to try that stuff because everybody's like, oh, it makes your hair grow. It makes your hair grow. And I'm just like. Can you tell that this, my hair has been like this for two weeks? My scalp not giving it away, but this hair is definitely giving it away. Oh, my God. I really need to deep condition. Like, I really did not moisturize and seal the way I was supposed to. And I can feel it. Like, my f hair feels soft, but it also feels dry at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but it's kind of like putting oil on cotton or soaking cotton in oil. And, like, it's soft because it's cotton, but it's dry because it's cotton. You know what I mean? yeah that's that's how this feels it doesn't feel bad but i know i definitely need deep conditioning like you can see like the inside of my roots are very well conditioned because that's the part that got the moisturizing and sealing you know when i did it those two times that moisture is locked inside of the two strand twist but everything outside is dry you see the difference look how dry this is versus how moisturized the inside is and it also feels different too so that's all that so this is my hair after taking down the flat twist i'm going to pretty much separate like i did in my braid out video just separate the hair where it wants to separate and just pull it apart and i did mention in my braid out video that i wasn't a pick girl and today i'm gonna try the pick try it i'm not gonna try it up here because I like the flat look up there. I don't want to like give this volume. I, I like it flat. Um, just going to use it to try and get rid of that part in the back. I feel like this side separated the way that I like it to separate. So put it back here. That's hair in my mouth. Ugh. I like my hair to be big and like I said before I don't like to separate too too much because my hair gets bigger over time but yeah this is pretty much how I like it to look this is one of those pieces that's coming from my crown see that look at that just can't be moisturized like the rest of you it's just gotta stand out be different okay so hopefully you guys can see this see how that large part is there i hope you guys can see that because i'm gonna use the pick now to try and gently take that part out Is it gone? 
Is it gone? Is the part gone? Okay, guys, so this is at the end of the video. I know, kind of boring. <laughs> but it's because I'm really not going anywhere. Um, just gonna hang out with my friends tomorrow and just for a few hours because you know COVID and here in New York we are on lockdown again at 10 o'clock so yeah I haven't gotten much information in regards to if it was a lockdown like how it was back in April where they were like oh the governor said you'll get a fine if you're caught on the street after 10. Uh, so um yeah you guys stay safe and I added a little um hair rose that my I believe my aunt got it from Forever 21 and it's a two-in-one like you it has a clip like you can pin it to your shirt and you can also clip it to your hair so there's a pin and a clip on this um so yeah that is my little tutorial of how you can get beautiful curls from a two week old twist. <laughs> um, yeah, so my hands are very, this is a great thing about um, doing this challenge is my hands get so much love and attention. And I've been trying to keep my nails short because um, I keep scratching myself and with my skin breaking out i'm a picker so i really i pick my skin i pick out my my breakouts so i've been trying to keep my nails really short and not get acrylics and stuff um and plus for safety like staying in the house i'm not going into a nail salon anytime soon maybe right before the holidays but it's just trying to stay safe out here um so yeah when i do pick at my breakouts um i just scratch myself and stuff so i've been keeping my nails short it's also for cleanliness too because you know you gotta continuously wash your hands and if you have long nails it's like it's this it defeats the purpose but yeah um my edges is growing back i still have like this one section right here <laughs> that needs to come in but this side let me move this rose. This side is flourishing. I'm telling you that Jamaican black castor oil, if you don't have it, get you some. Get you, get you some. Jump on this challenge. It's not too late. You can still join. And when the challenge ends January 5th, you can continue it until you get to the three months. Um, and then that's it. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So, at this point, I'm rambling. I'm rambling at this point. It's midnight. It's probably one o'clock in the morning. My computer is right there. I could turn it around and get the time on it, but I'm pretty sure it's one o'clock in the morning. I have insomnia. Like I can't sleep these days. There's just so much going on in the world. Just pray for the world. I would say pray for America, but I think it's already too late for us. Just pray for the world, okay? Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell notification. I see you guys. And yeah, thank you. I'm gonna start calling my hair Megan the Stallion because she had body yaddy 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 I really shouldn't be touching my face. Oh. The link to this headband is in the description box below. As far as the shirt, I forget where I got it from. Sorry.
Bye.